Jagged Alliance 3 is coming out soon, and we're here to explore what Jagged is and what it is not. Jagged Alliance is a series of games featuring turn-based tactics and RPG elements first released in 1994, with Jagged Alliance 2 following in 1999 and considered one of the best games of its genre. There were some other spin-offs that, let's just say, were interesting. But we are here to make it right. Ian Curry, the creator of the original Jaggeds, is here to keep us from f***ing things up so we don't piss off our Jagged fans out there. And really, anyone who buys the game. So what makes Jagged Alliance 3 a worthy addition to the series? Well, a lot. We're making the magic happen. You know how some games tell you the success probability of hitting a target, and it's all about figuring out the perfect solution? Yeah, well, we don't. Jagged is not just a puzzle, but a simulation. There is no perfect solution. We want you to experiment, to listen to your mercs, and trust your experience, which might be easier said than done. Trust me, I know the type. You will need to consider your situation. How's the weather? The lighting? How are your mercs? Did they have a boo-boo? Did they get their full eight hours last night? You will need to consider the battlefield. Do you have the higher ground? Are your mercs in cover? How about their lines of sight or visibility? Not to mention managing character stats, listening for verbal hits, situational modifiers. Good chance of me, um, not missing. Yeah, you get the picture. And sometimes, life will hand you lemons. And then they explode. Is it challenging? Yes. Is it fun? You're damn right it is. These mechanics are core to your battle strategy, giving combat an organic feel. It also makes listening to your mercs important. Most of the time. Igor, great at hiding. You will see, or you will not. <laughs> That's actually a really nice segue to talk about the characters. And in Jagged, there are a lot of them. 40 fully voiced mercs with their own backstories, personalities, interactions, playstyles, even phobias. This place makes me sweaty. This will not look good on the camera. These characters actually play like individuals meaning their personalities will affect how they operate in the world, how they react to the enemy, and how they work with each other. And like any real-world situation, sometimes things can get a little dicey. Assemble your squads wisely because there are team players, and then there's this. Fidel, no more work for you. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? And bad team management over time is a nightmare. What the fuck you want, mercenaries? And let's not forget about the local inhabitants of Grand Chien, with their own story arcs that range from humorous to a little bit heavier. All these people are part of the open world of Jagged. From the jungles to the slums to the desert, the world is yours to explore and enjoy at your own pace. Go wherever you want, make your own missions, manage your mercs, mod your weapons. There's lots to do for an energetic sociopath like yourself. Be careful of pissing off the locals too much, though. Just because you can live with your actions doesn't mean they have to. You can treat the populace with respect and support. Or take them for all they're worth. Whatever lets you sleep at night. You're about to get fucked by an This country is your sandbox, and it's gonna get dirty. At this point, Pretty sure many of you already know that this game is for you. And you love it. We've got mercs, we got open world, we got guns, bombs, blades, tactics, destruction, and everything in between. Are you excited? Us too. You heard the man. So what else can we say except you'll have to check it out for yourself? Thanks for watching.